Okay, rookie. Welcome to Training A1. Our goal will be to teach you techniques to deal with your opponent. Here we will deal with direct confrontation. Tactics, methods of protecting your own ass, and attack. I'll show you everything in the simulation. In room B1 you have some targets in which you can practice your aim. There's exercises of a completely different specialty in room C1. I recommend you take a look there. Welcome to my humble abode. We don't often get visitors here. You can learn some very useful things here before you head out on the town. You can solve many situations without using a gun, just do a little research and you might come across something like this. But, let's start at the beginning. At this stage of the tutorial, we will talk about your equipment. Hold down inventory to access it. The pistol has a longer range and a larger capacity magazine. It's relatively easy to use. It still requires focus to hit the target. Shotgun. Heavy weapon. Maximum 5 shells. Then there's the stun gun. It's, it can be useful to stun an enemy so we can cuff them, interrogate them, and not risk a shootout. To accomplish this, you must sneak up on your opponent, crouch, you move more slowly but silently. However, you risk a bullet to the head. Great. Look through your equipment and come back to me. During the shooting, your accuracy isn't the only important thing. You can practice it with the targets in the next room. To avoid the bullet, this to... So, shall we get started?
done, you did it. Do you want to try again? Time to teach you what negotiation looks like. The rules are simple. During the operation, you collect clues. You can get clues by talking to witnesses and by noticing events, things, and evidence at the scene of the investigation. Circumstantial evidence gives you arguments you can use in negotiations. Remember, however, that not every piece of information has to be true. You have to- The more good hits you get, the better your chances of convincing your opponent. Because that's what we want, right? Did you understand? Now let me tell you some basic facts about the criminal. I'm Peter Fox. My girlfriend and I have been in a motorcycle gang called No Weakness for a few years now. I have a thick file. I've been written up several times for aggressive behavior and destruction of property. They say I'm a bully. You ready? I have a rather good opinion among my neighbors. So you might think that I'm not making a fuss. This is bullshit. I'm a troublemaker, and that's the truth. I've also been arrested multiple times for drug possession. My best friend knows I don't do drugs. And if I have, it's only for sale. When they caught me, they looked at my hands and did a drug test too. And guess what? Clear. <laughs> because I don't do drugs, and that's the truth. The only reason they got their hands on me is because I was in a brawl at the garage. Somebody called, they came, and... The brawl was about money, same as always. Unfortunately, I had a few... a dozen pounds of Erin. You already know a little bit, so what do you say? Shall we get started? Good, let's get started. How do you know it's heroin? Did you try it? It depends on what I have a special deal for. You get the joke? Alright, alright. I was stealing, okay? That's all. Kids like this shit. And I like good money. Well chosen argument. Reliable information. This is how you can convince your interlocutor. Are you the new guy? The chief says you're as stubborn as a mule. Wait, what's your name? Price, right? Scott Price? Whatever. I'm Captain David Summers. Apparently you wanted to move to us yourself. What is it? What are you looking for here? What, you're not gonna say? Okay, not really my business. There's a report, a fender bender or something. Check the system and get to work. I'm out of here. Bye.
Are you the new guy? Apparently, you wanted to move to a sh There's a report. A fender bender or something. Check the system and get to work. I'm out. Good morning, sir. I'm the one who reported our little accident. I was pulling out of the parking lot and this gentleman drove into me. He backed up and slammed right into my car. No, come on. It's just a fender bender, basically a scratch. But the guy won't admit it's his fault. That's why I had to call. Good evening. You've heard enough, haven't you? That I'm responsible for this mess? <sighs> what a guy. This man is more fortunate than smart and should never have passed his driving test. It's good that it was late and there weren't many cars in the parking lot, so I barely hit him. But you know, it's a waste of my nerves anyway, right? Sure, you got it. Please don't speak out loud. They're still here. Yeah, they're going around for someone else to shoot. If I move out of here, aren't they going to shoot at me like I was some sort of duck? Cop? You think the Detroit bosses are afraid of dogs? I hate cops. Die! Doghouse? Quickly. Ha!
The police? Jesus, finally. Help me. He's not breathing. What? No, he's just a customer. He comes here a lot, and today... Shit. Yes, I fix what's broken, and if it works, I make sure it keeps working. I went out to check one of the refrigerators, and it started. You don't even know. It's a living hell. No, no. I saw this guy talking on the phone. He looked like he was gonna shit his pants. You know, scared. And then when he finished talking, he pulled out a gun and started shooting. I don't know, come on. All I know is they're a bunch of amateurs for sure. They were fighting with each other like a bunch of kids. One of them kept asking for money, and the boss told him to shut up. What? What do you mean? Do you want me to stay here? Good. Sure thing. Straight to the exit. I'll be in the parking lot if you need me. I see you're hurt. There's a first aid kit on the wall by the door. Use it, then we'll talk. <sighs> Looks like you're saving my life. Thank you. I'm the store manager. No, I I'm fine. I got punched in the face by the boss of this gang, but, but I'm fine. <laughs> I'll live. I, I just don't know what they wanted. They came by, made a fuss, they didn't even touch the cash, so it's not about the money, is it? Really, I'm fine. I know the boss. He's been in the shop a few times, but never made any problems. I heard him on the phone talking about some kind of pickup. Don't ask me what, because I have no idea, but the thing was supposed to be in our warehouse. We don't have anything there except what's on our shelves. You ask me, I'll ask you. Maybe? What else is there? I'm sure someone's supposed to pick this up. That's all I know. The head of the whole party. He's locked himself in the warehouse. Who knows what he's looking for in there? As you walked through the store, did you see those big double doors in the middle of the room? You can go through them. This one here also leads to the back room, but the key's gone. I don't have it, and I don't think Richard has it as well. Yes, yes, there you go. Just be careful, huh? The guy was sharp. Thank you very much. No. How else can I help you? Thank you very much. No. Hey, what are you doing here? What? What did he yell? What are you talking about? Get out of what? You seriously don't know what you're talking about. It's interesting from whom, as only... Man, don't make me... First you make... <laughs> 